Hello and welcome back to Immortal News. In today's video, we'll be sharing an important update about individuals from the celebrity world who have passed away today, July 26th, and in recent days. We have special tributes to honor them. Later in the broadcast, we'll also bring you health updates regarding son of LeBron James. We kindly ask that before we move ahead, you show your support by liking this video. Thank you, and please stay tuned. Number 13, Sinead O'Connor, the formidable Irish vocalist renowned for her unique voice, candid political views, and high-profile personal tribulations, has tragically passed away at the age of 56. Best known for her chart-topping hit, Nothing Compares to You during the dawn of the 90s, O'Connor's demise was formally announced by her close kin. Specific details about her passing, including the date and cause of death, have yet to be disclosed. The late 80s bore witness to O'Connor's rise in the music world, a time when the alternative radio was reverberating with the sounds of fearless female vocalists challenging the norms. O'Connor's debut album, The Lion and the Cobra, released in 1987, turned heads not only for its memorable album cover featuring her shaven head and assertive stance, but also for the raw expression of faith, might, and resilience in her music. O'Connor's tough upbringing, marked by abuse, molded a resilience within her that was visible in her music. She disclosed in a 2014 NPR interview that her singing career was kindled in a shelter for juvenile delinquents in the back alleys of Dublin, thanks to a kindly nun who presented her with a guitar. Her undeniable talent was noticed by U2's guitarist, The Edge, which led to her signing with the Ensign Chrysalis label. Although basking in the limelight of fame and success, O'Connor unfailingly used her elevated platform to champion social justice. Her controversial Saturday Night Live appearance in 1992, during which she vocally protested against racism and child abuse by tearing up an image of Pope John Paul II, sparked public furor. Yet O'Connor remained unflinching in her stance, consistently valuing what she referred to as the Holy Spirit above public opinion. Her later years were characterized by significant personal and professional transitions. O'Connor changed her name numerous times, embraced various religious faiths, and her music exhibited stylistic fluidity. Her mental health struggles, candidly shared on her social media platforms, also became a poignant part of her narrative. Although she never managed to replicate the success of her initial hit, O'Connor's music continued to earn accolades worldwide. Following news of her demise, Ireland's Prime Minister Leo Varadkar offered his heartfelt condolences, emphasizing that her unparalleled talent and her music were cherished across the globe. Tributes to Sinead O'Connor Number 12, Alfonso Ituralde, A Remarkable Journey in the Entertainment Industry Alfonso Ituralde, an iconic figure, passed away at the age of 73 on July 25th. Ituralde was widely recognized for his villainous role in the telenovela Marimar. The National Association of Interpreters of Mexico confirmed his passing and mourned this significant loss. In 2019, Ituralde revealed he had battled prostate cancer, which he survived through surgery without the need for chemotherapy. While the cause of his death is currently undisclosed, his prior health issues are noteworthy. Ituralde left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry with his iconic roles in cinema, theater, and television. He entered the small screen in 1984 with La Pasión de Isabella and after a decade returned with Azul. His most notable projects include Soy Rebelde, Marimar, Bajo la Misma Piel, Alebrijes y Rebujos, Sueños y Caramelos, Al Diablo con los Guapos, Enamorandome de Ramón, Médicos, Linea de Vida, and La Desalmada, his last telenovela. Ituralde was not only a seasoned actor but a loving father, as expressed by his first wife, Rosalba Brambila Alexander. He will be remembered for his exceptional performances and significant contributions to the Mexican entertainment industry, leaving a lasting legacy through the stories and characters he brought to life. Tributes to Alfonso Ituralde.
Number 11. Rocky Wirtz, a legacy marked by redemption and controversy in the NHL. Rocky Wirtz, the esteemed owner of the Chicago Blackhawks who resurrected the team's legacy, passed away on July 25th at the age of 70. His sudden demise has left the NHL community in mourning. Born into the Wirtz family that has owned the Blackhawks since 1954, Rocky assumed ownership after his father, William Wirtz, passed away in 2007. Under Rocky's stewardship, the Blackhawks underwent a radical transformation. Winning the Stanley Cup three times in 2010, 2013, and 2015, ending years of limited success. Known for his business acumen and passion for Chicago, Rocky reinstated the franchise's connection with past players and fans. His initiative to broadcast the team's games on local TV was instrumental in regaining public support, leading to a sellout streak that lasted until 2021. Rocky's leadership, while largely celebrated, also witnessed significant controversy. During his time, there were accusations of misconduct involving a Blackhawks assistant coach. Although an external review found no evidence that Rocky was aware of the incident before the lawsuit was brought to their attention, the episode put a dent in the franchise's reputation. Rocky's commitment to the Blackhawks and the city of Chicago was unwavering. He embodied resilience, navigating both triumphs and trials with determination and responsibility his enduring influence on the Blackhawks and the wider NHL community remains significant. Tributes to Rocky Wirtz. Number 10. Surinder Shinda, the grandfather of Amosi and legendary icon of Punjabi music. Surinder Paldami, widely recognized as Surinder Shinda, the legendary figure of Punjabi music, passed away on July 26 at the age of 70. Born on May 20, 1953, in Choti Ayali village, Ludhiana district, Punjab, Shinda's melodious voice made him an enduring fixture in Punjabi music, leading to his celebrated nickname, the Grandfather of Mok. Shinda gave Punjabi music several unforgettable hits like Jat Jiona Moor, Put Jatan De, Truck Bilia, Balbiro Babi, and Kahir Singh Dimaut. He left an indelible mark not only through his songs, but also through his appearances in Punjabi films such as Put Jatan De and Ucha Dar Babe Nanak Da. Known for his collaboration with Kuldeep Manak and his unique Kali singing style, his song Jiona Moor stands as a cornerstone in Punjabi music history. Beyond his singing, Shinda was a mentor to many teaching music to artists like the late Amar Singh Chamkila and Gil Hardeep. He also ventured into production, nurturing young talents while continuing to delight fans with songs like Hamis Bolian. In 2013, Shinda's immeasurable contributions to music were recognized with a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Brit Asia TV Music Awards. His impact on Punjabi music is profound, and his legacy will continue to inspire future generations. Tributes to Surinder Shinda Number 9. Johnny Lujak, a celebrated athlete and an inspirational legacy in college football. Johnny Lujak, a prominent figure in college football and a true embodiment of sportsmanship, passed away on July 25th at the age of 98. Lujak's stellar career was highlighted by his remarkable achievements at Notre Dame, where he led the Irish to three national championships in the 1940s, secured the Heisman Trophy in 1947, and went on to shine for the Chicago Bears in the NFL. Born on January 4, 1925, in Connellsville, Pennsylvania, Lujak was celebrated for his all-around skills as an outstanding passer, a proficient runner, a brilliant defensive halfback, a place kicker, and an occasional punter. He was honored as a two-time All-American and had the distinctive record of playing in only one losing football game at Notre Dame. Beyond football, Lujak's athletic prowess extended to baseball, basketball, and track. He was honored by his induction into the College Football Hall of Fame in 1960 and was recognized as the oldest living winner of the Heisman. 
His contribution to the sport was greatly recognized by fans and peers alike. In the NFL, Lujak led the league in pass completions, yards passing, and touchdown passes in 1949. After four pro seasons, he retired to become a backfield coach at Notre Dame, further contributing to the sport he loved. Lujak's memory and legacy remain woven into the history of Notre Dame. His outstanding career is a testament to his extraordinary talent, tenacity, and dedication to the sport. He is survived by his daughter Mary Lujak, a son Jeff, his grandson Grant Pullman, who confirmed his death, four other grandchildren, and eight great-grandchildren. His wife Patricia Lujak and his daughter Carol Lujak preceded him in death. His enduring legacy serves as an inspiration to young athletes and football enthusiasts worldwide. Tributes to Johnny Lujak. Number 8. Doris Montero, a pioneering voice and unforgettable legacy in Brazilian music. Doris Monteiro, a luminary in the realm of Brazilian music, died at her home in Rio de Janeiro from natural causes on July 24th. She was 88 years old. Born Adelina Doris Monteiro, her career spanned over seven decades, during which she left an indelible mark on the country's music landscape. Monteiro started singing professionally in the late 1940s and rose to prominence in the 1950s as one of Brazil's leading female voices. She recorded her first album in 1951 and quickly became a household name, earning the title Reinha dos Cadetes in 1952. With 15 records to her name by 1956, she was celebrated for her soft, distinctive voice that shone brightly among her contemporaries. Beyond music, Montero also made her mark in cinema, acting in at least 10 films alongside renowned names like Mazzaropi, Jose Lugoy, and Tonya Carrero. Her musical contributions spanned various genres, from the bossa nova to samba, often collaborating with eminent artists such as Roberto Menescal, Ronaldo Boscoli, Carlos Lira, and Vinicius de Moraes. Montero's enduring appeal and innovative contributions made her a symbol of modernity in Brazilian music. Her distinct voice and timeless songs will continue to inspire future generations of musicians. Her legacy is one of dedication, talent, and a deep love for music. Tributes to Doris Monteiro. Number 7. Chung Lim, Korean actor-singer with an unforgettable charisma. Chung Lim, renowned Korean actor-singer, passed away on July 20th, at the age of 37, after a battle with colon cancer. Born in 1987, Lim's passion for Korean dance led him to major at the Korea National University of Arts and eventually to an impactful career in the nation's media and entertainment industry. Lim first gained popularity for his role in the popular K-drama I'm Sorry I Love You in 2004, where his charisma and talent quickly left an indelible mark. His other acting credits include Dream and a cameo in Smile Mom. His career diversified in 2009 when he began his musical journey, released his debut EP album Step, and showcased his singing ability. The actor-singer's tall stature and exceptional dancing skills led many to compare him to the acclaimed performer Rain. Yet, it was his affable personality and pure soul, as remembered by Joe Min Ah, former member of the band Jewelry, that touched many hearts. His innocent smile and luminous spirit will be etched in the minds of those who knew him and in the hearts of his fans. Tributes to Chung Lim Number 6. Yilmaz Gruda a prolific visionary in Turkish arts and literature. Yilmaz Gruda, an accomplished Turkish actor, poet, playwright, and translator, passed away on July 25th at the age of 93, leaving a profound legacy in the field of arts and literature. Gruda's illustrious career spanned decades in multiple disciplines, 
A graduate of Ankara Commerce High School, he initially worked as a government officer. He burst onto the literary scene in the 1950s when his poems were published in various journals. Not content with a single artistic pursuit, he turned his talents to acting, working in celebrated institutions such as the Tep Theater, Kukuk Theater, Ankara Maidan Stage, and the Nisa Serezli acting community. His influence on Turkish theater was significant, blending elements of traditional Turkish theater with Anton Chekhov's influence. In collaboration with Attila Ilhan, Gruda spearheaded the Blue Movement in Turkish poetry. This passion for words was mirrored in his prolific publication record, which includes poems, plays, and translations. His multifaceted contributions earned him multiple accolades, including the esteemed Kamuhuri Yet Yunus Nadi Award in 2003 and the Beket Aysan Poetry Award in 1999. Gruda's life was a testament to his love for the arts, literature, and his dedication to enriching Turkish cultural life. His passing marks the end of an era, but his influence continues to resonate. Tributes to Yilmaz Gruda Number 5. Howard Edelman, a trailblazer in philosophy and refugee studies. Howard Edelman, Canadian philosopher and professor emeritus at York University, passed away on July 23rd at the age of 85. Born on January 7, 1938 in Toronto, Edelman was an acclaimed intellectual and humanitarian, celebrated for his extensive work in applied philosophy, refugee studies, and the Middle East. Adelman was a key founder of Rochdale College and the Center for Refugee Studies at York University, where he served as director from 1988 to 1993. As the editor of Refuge for 10 years, he significantly contributed to discussions surrounding refugees in Canada. Throughout his career, Adelman held numerous leadership roles, including acting dean of Atkinson College, chair of York University's Department of Philosophy, and director of the Refugee Documentation Project. In 2008, York University acknowledged Adelman's profound impact by initiating an annual lecture series in his name. Even in retirement, Adelman's dedication to scholarship remained undiminished. He served as a visiting professor at Princeton University's Woodrow Wilson School and a senior research fellow at Griffith University's Key Center for Ethics, Law, Justice, and Governance in Australia. His scholarly contribution includes over 23 books and numerous articles, papers, and reports on diverse subjects, from the Middle East to humanitarian intervention, refugee repatriation, and conflict management. Adelman's work has been instrumental in shaping global understanding and response to refugee crises and genocide. For his incredible service to academia and humanity, Adelman was named a member of the Order of Canada in 2016. His enduring legacy lies in the multitude of lives touched by his work and his unfaltering commitment to social justice. Tributes to Howard Adelman. Number 4. Roy Sweatman, a cricket luminary, celebrated artist and antiques expert Roy Sweatman, a distinguished English cricketer and talented artist, passed away on July 23rd, aged 89. Born in Westminster, London on the 25th of October, 1933, Sweatman had a prominent career as a wicketkeeper, playing in 11 test matches between 1959 and 1960. Beginning his career with Surrey, Sweatman quickly made his mark as a competent performer, despite limited appearances. He replaced Arthur McIntyre as Surrey's keeper in 1956, and demonstrated his potential as a valuable batsman. He first came into the England team to replace the revered wicketkeeper Godfrey Evans and toured Australia and New Zealand in 1958-59, to marking his first tests when Evans was injured. Sweatman's tenure with the England team included a tour to the West Indies as the primary wicketkeeper in 1959-60. to However, despite his promising start, he was unable to retain his place in the team losing it to Jim Parks and later falling behind John Murray in the selector's eyes. After retiring from county cricket in 1961, he made a return with Nottinghamshire in 1966 
and later filled in for Barry Meyer at Gloucestershire in 1972. He retired for good in 1974 when he was replaced by Andy Stovold. Beyond the cricket pitch, Sweatman showcased a diverse range of talents. After leaving first-class cricket, he became a publican, an antiques expert, and an artist specializing in portraits of cricketers, thus adding multiple layers to his legacy. His passing marks the end of a versatile career that spanned cricket, art, and antiques. Tributes to Roy Sweatman. Number 3. Oswaldo Viteri, an artistic and social legacy etched in Ecuador and beyond. Oswaldo Viteri, the celebrated painter, muralist, sculptor, and architect whose work has left an indelible imprint on Ecuador and the world, passed away at the age of 91 on July 24. Born in Ambato in 1931, Viteri was recognized nationally and internationally as a leading figure in Ecuadorian visual art of the second half of the 20th century. Viteri's trajectory spanned diverse techniques, including assemblage, drawing, engraving, and mosaics. His first individual exhibition in 1957 marked the start of an illustrious career. Viteri was known for his exploration and experimentation with new techniques and mediums. His iconic assemblages incorporating symbolic objects like rag dolls and elements of popular culture gained him accolades, including the Order of Isabella the Catholic in 2010. Viteri's work was showcased in prestigious museums and galleries worldwide, ensuring the immortalization of his artistic vision. He also held prominent positions as a workshop leader and exhibitor in countries such as Mexico, Spain, Portugal, the United Kingdom, Italy, Guatemala, Venezuela, Chile, and Peru. Fernando Terón, president of the Ecuadorian House of Culture, highlighted Viteri's impact on the national art scene marking a critical period in artistic production alongside figures like Oswaldo Guayasamin and Eduardo Kingman. With Viteri's passing, an essential chapter in Ecuadorian art draws to a close, but his legacy will continue to inspire future generations. Tributes to Oswaldo Viteri We now transition to trending health update about the son of LeBron James. Bronny James recovers from cardiac arrest incident at USC practice. Basketball talent and son of NBA legend LeBron James, Bronny James, is recovering from a cardiac arrest he suffered during a practice at the University of Southern California, USC. He has since been moved out of intensive care and is reported to be in stable condition. Bronny, 18, is slated to start his freshman year at USC in the fall. The emergency occurred at USC's Galen Center Athletic Facility, prompting a swift response from the Los Angeles Fire Department. LeBron and Savannah James extended their gratitude to the USC medical and athletic staff for their assistance. Bronny's choice to join USC was influenced by his prospects of having more playing time compared to other basketball powerhouses like Duke or Kentucky. He was also considering Oregon and Ohio State, places with connections to his father, LeBron. It remains unclear how this incident will impact the USC men's basketball program, which had planned a 10-day exhibition trip to Greece and Croatia in August. As cardiac arrest differs from a heart attack, the exact treatment that Bronny received has not been disclosed. The basketball community responded with support for Bronny. Damar Hamlin, a player who previously experienced a similar incident, and Montress Wright, the mother of a teammate, both shared their thoughts and well wishes. A study from the University of Washington indicated that black male college basketball players are at a higher risk of sudden cardiac death. The exact cause for this is still being researched. This incident is not the first health scare in the NBA family. Sharif O'Neal, son of Shaquille O'Neal, had open heart surgery in 2018. The addition of Bronny to the USC team, coupled with his 7.5 million Instagram followers, was expected to bring significant attention to the basketball program. 
Coaches recognize him as a player with a high basketball IQ. He was expected to be a contributor, not a star, to a team with Final Four aspirations. The Trojans team is also looking forward to the performances of other key players like Isaiah Collier, Boogie Ellis, Joshua Morgan, and Kobe Johnson. As for Bronny's father, LeBron, he has expressed a desire to play alongside his son in the NBA. After this season, Bronny will be eligible for the NBA draft. Meanwhile, LeBron continues to excel in his 20th NBA season, recently surpassing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the NBA's all-time leading scorer. Now it's time to remember the legends who passed away in the past years. Number 2. Joey Jordison, a transformative force in heavy metal music. Joey Jordison, the former drummer and founding member of the iconic U.S. heavy metal band Slipknot, died at the age of 46 on July 26, 2021. His family announced his peaceful passing in his sleep, leaving them with empty hearts and feelings of indescribable sorrow. The cause of death has not been revealed. Born Nathan Jonas Jordison in 1975 in Des Moines, Iowa, Jordison formed Slipknot in 1995 alongside percussionist Sean Crahan and bassist Paul Gray. The band, known for its aggressive music style and horror-style performance masks, released a successful self-titled debut album in 1999, which paved the way for global album sales in the millions, mainstream U.S. chart success, and a Grammy Award. Jordison remained with the band until 2013, later revealing that he left due to a diagnosis of transverse myelitis and inflammation of the spinal cord. However, his contributions to the band remained unparalleled, and his impact on the heavy metal scene has been recognized by his peers. Alongside his work with Slipknot, Jordison played in several other bands, including Murder Dolls, and performed with renowned acts like Metallica, Korn, and Rob Zombie. Colleagues and fans alike paid tribute to Jordison, celebrating his talent and acknowledging his significant influence on the heavy music scene. His contribution has left a lasting legacy in the world of music, especially within the heavy metal genre, as he transformed drumming into metal music, inspiring countless others. Tributes to Joey Jordison Number 1. Russie Taylor, the unforgettable voice behind beloved characters. Russy Taylor, the iconic voice behind Disney's Minnie Mouse and characters from The Simpsons, died at 75 on July 26, 2019, in Glendale, California. Her cause of death was colon cancer. Starting in 1986, Taylor won an audition against 200 others to voice Minnie Mouse a role she filled with unmatched enthusiasm for over 30 years. Her contribution extended beyond Disney, as she lent her voice to various Simpsons characters including Martin Prince, twins Sherry and Terry, among others. Born on May 4, 1944, Taylor had an enduring passion for Disney that began in her childhood and continued throughout her life. In 1991, she married Wayne Allwine, the voice behind Mickey Mouse, creating a real-life Minnie and Mickey partnership. Taylor was recognized with a Primetime Emmy nomination in 2018 for her work in Mickey Mouse and two Daytime Emmy nominations for her contributions to Jakers, The Adventures of Piggly Winks. Taylor once said, I never wanted to be famous. The characters I do are famous and that's fine for me. She leaves behind a legacy that is enshrined in the hearts of millions who grew up with the characters she voiced. Tributes to Rusi Taylor. We kindly ask you to honor the lives of these remarkable individuals by showing your support and appreciation. Please like this video and continue watching as we pay respect to the legacies they've left behind.